Well, hello and welcome to Drawing Closer to God. My name is Miss Kim, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today to make some beautiful drawings for this very special time at Advent. This is a time that we prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we are getting closer to Christmas. Do you know what we're going to be drawing today? Yes, the Advent wreath. Now the Advent wreath is a very special wreath that I actually have placed right in the center of my kitchen table at home, a special place that everyone passes by to remind us to prepare our hearts for the Lord Jesus. Now I'm going to show you an outline of the drawing that we're going to be doing together today. This beautiful wreath, which is similar to this beautiful wreath. This is the outline that we'll all be drawing together. And the finished product with color will be this beautiful wreath. Here in the Advent wreath, we have a circle of greens. This reminds us of Jesus' everlasting love and His grace for us. And we have four candles. The four candles represent the four Sundays of Advent leading up to Christmas. So before we begin, I love to start with a prayer. So follow me and learn along. It's pretty simple. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Jesus, bless me with creativity. Calm my heart and free my mind. Your will through my hands, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, let's begin with our materials. So the materials that you'll need today, a piece of two of paper, a pencil and eraser, markers, crayons, or colored pencils. I love colored pencils because I can layer them and shade with them. These are the colors that I'll be using. We have pink, yellow, purple, orange, red, dark green, and light green. I'll put these off to the side and let's go over a couple of simple shapes that we'll be using. So, simple shapes are a triangle, a square, a rectangle, circle, or an oval. And some lines that will be familiar to you are a straight line, a wiggly line, or a jaggedy line, and some curves. We'll be using all this today in your beautiful drawing. Now, as we begin, think about how you can use this beautiful piece as a gift to your family, to your friends, and use this as a prayer that you can give to others because you'll be reflecting on this for the next four weeks. We'll begin near the top of the paper with four ovals for our candles. So we'll start with a beautiful oval here and we'll do one off to the side a little bit and one right in the center and another oval off to the left. And these are the tops of our candles and our candles have to have wicks. Because Jesus is the light of the world. We're doing a teardrop shape and one inside the other. Another wick here in the center with a teardrop shape and another one echoing right in the center. Good job. One right in the front, teardrop shape, and one echoing right in the center. Give this little guy a wick. And off to the left, our fourth candle, teardrop shape with another one right in the center. And now our line's down. We won't go all the way down, but we'll draw to make a nice strong candle just like our faith and our love is for Jesus. Straight down, straight down, and straight down. And we have our four candles. Our four candles represent our four Sundays of Advent. Now the greens and the wreath, we'll do evergreen. Now this represents Jesus's everlasting life. I'll draw our, just some lines off to the side, like wispy lines, arms going up. And now the needles on our evergreen just like so. Any size you like, they can crisscross, they can feather up, they can go out right up to the top. Good job. We'll do the other side. Have fun with this, kind of like a little song and dance that the arms are raising up to the Lord and praising His coming very soon. We'll do the bottom one, kind of going off and off and off. It looks like little pine needles. Anything you'd like to do, just have fun with it. Good job. And then the last one off to the left. 
Remember, do your best, let God do the rest. Just enjoy this and look what you can do. Now we're going to draw our holly. And the holly is kind of a smile or swooping motion. So we'll start one off of the side of the candle. Swoop, swoop, off to a point. And then from that point, come back down and almost do an upside down swoop. And a line right down the middle of that holly. We'll put one right off here. Swoop, 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 swoop to a point. Beautiful. And then go back down to a point and a line right down the middle. Good job. One over here underneath this candle. We're going to fill our beautiful scene. Whoop, and then one back up. Good job. And a line right down the middle. And then we have one maybe up here. Let's go underneath our beautiful evergreen. Good job. And a line down the middle. And maybe we'll have one peeking underneath. It's almost, it'll overlap underneath this evergreen. Good job. You just do your best. Every piece of artwork is unique, just like you. So in this scene, since the holly is in the greens, let's add a little pop of color with some red. So we'll do a little holly, kind of a, a berry. So we'll do a little berry and a little bit of an open spot in there so it has a highlight. And then we'll have a berry here. We'll do circles, circles, and then a little bit of a highlight little bit of a highlight. It's almost like an upside down smile. Good job, you guys. And then we'll do this berry and one behind it and one behind that and see how they overlap. And then we'll do a little bit of a smile in there, upside down smiles for our highlight. We'll put a couple of circles here, one underneath just peeking out and one more here and our little berry smiles for highlight. And then maybe just two more right here. So we can balance out our scene with some beautiful pops of red. Okay, beautiful, good work. So proud of you so far, great job. Now we'll move on to our color. Let's start with the beautiful greens that we have. As these greens and the evergreen wreath reminds us of Jesus' everlasting life for us. So we'll start with our dark green. Oops, let's hold that there. Stay there guys. And we will start coloring in. So just follow that beautiful line that you made for the spikes and little pine needles that we have here. You can almost smell that beautiful evergreen. What a beautiful time of the year. Good job, and I'll fill in all these first. You can just follow along the lines that you made. Don't be afraid to color light, color dark. You can overlap your colors. Beautiful, one more. So we keep going. We use this as a reminder of Jesus' love for us. Everything I create, we do with joy. Okay, now we'll do our light green for our holly. So with our holly, we're going to color that in and stay inside the lines the very best that you can to make a beautiful image. Good job. And we'll color this side in. And if you like to, and you're using colored pencils, you can use the side of your pencil and it gives you a bigger swath of space to color at one time. That's always fun to do as well. And this is how I hold the pencil to turn it to the side to give some beautiful color inside that holly. I'll go back to the tip to get nice and close to that line. All right, we'll fill all those white spots in. One, let's see Holly over here. Now Holly reminds me of actually the crown of thorns. It's a spiky leaf if you've ever felt it before, but it's a beautiful leaf. This reminds me of Jesus' sacrifice for us, placed in a ring around our Advent wreath. Okay, good job. Good job. One more holly leaf. Good job. Okay, now we'll move on to our candles. Now we have the purple candles, which we have three purple candles and one pink candle. We'll start with our purple candle first. 
beautiful purple. Now these colors are the vestment colors that you'll see your priests wearing during our mass, during Advent season. Beautiful holy colors. There are three purple candles which represent sacrifice and preparation. And the pink candle represents rejoicing that Jesus is almost here. That's actually lit on the third Sunday of Advent. He's going, staying in our line, going all the way down to our holly. Great job. I'll do purple back here. I love the sound of drawing. It's quite relaxing. Beautiful. Stay right behind that light of the candle. As Christ is the light of the world. Right, and I like to make the tops of the candles just a little bit darker than the bottoms to make them pop a little bit against that flame. So I'll add a touch more color so I can overlap these colors and make them darker and darker. All right, now let's move on to our pink candle. Now this last candle is lit on the third Sunday of Advent. And then we know we're getting very, very close to Christmas and the birth of our Lord and Savior. Beautiful color. Good job. And take your time and try to do your very best work. Good job. Okay, we'll move on to our red berries. Now the little highlights inside, leave those open, just white paper. And we're gonna pop our beautiful Christmas Advent wreath Preparing our hearts for the Lord with our red berries. Good job. Keep that center part open. All right. We got quite a few of these guys. It's like a party here, which it will be in four weeks. Okay, good job. And one more here. And this one down here. Good job. And the last berry here. All right. Beautiful work, everybody. I cannot believe how gorgeous this is. What a beautiful Advent wreath. And I would like to light the first candle together, celebrating the very beginning of our Advent. So we'll use orange and yellow to light our first candle. We'll do a little bit of orange on the outside here. And I'll put some yellow in the middle. Whoops. Okay, a little yellow in the middle. And we can flip-flop these colors. You can blend them together and have this light, the very first light for Advent. You light the rest with your family, marking each Sunday of Advent, working our way up to Christmas together in your home. Well, each Sunday we light a candle to remember that we're preparing for the birth of baby Jesus. When the prophet Isaiah foretold Christ's coming, he said, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. I think this is in Isaiah 9 too. But this light is Jesus, you guys. Amazing. Jesus tells us that he is the light of the world. When we light each candle, we remember that Christ, who is the light of the world, comes to bring us out of darkness of sin and death and into the light of life. Incredible. So we're called to be the light of the world too. The light of Christ should shine in our hearts for everyone to see. And that is why we light these candles as a reminder. So Advent is the perfect time to think about how we can be the light. Is Christ shining in you? I bet he is. Does your light shine when you are with your parents, your siblings, your friends, or your teachers? When we hurt others and God through sinning, our light does not shine. But when we do good deeds with joyful hearts, we are the light of the world. 
So I have a challenge for you. Put your Advent wreath somewhere special in your home for everybody to see. And each Sunday of Advent, light that candle. Color that in so you can show the light of Christ in your heart and your home and to remind you to have prayer and do sacrifice and something special for others. Good job. So um, next week, do you know what we're going to be drawing? Think, think, think. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's a special angel visiting a very holy mother. You've got it. It's the Annunciation. Good job. So I cannot wait to see you again. It has been a wonderful time creating with you. Such a big blessing. I can't wait to see you again. The bottom of our paper, let's take a special color that you love and write A M D G. That means ad maiorum de glorium in Latin, and it means all for the glory of God. I put that on everything I do to bless my pieces and to give to others. Thank you for being with me today. I've really enjoyed myself. Bring a friend so we can work on our beautiful drawing next week. God bless you, and remember, show the light of the world of your heart to others. Thank you. Bye-bye.